everybody, welcome back to Happy Bake Day, where every day is a happy bake day. I hope your breakfast hash brown egg cups that we made last week using fresh Jax's I've Got the Brunchy Seasoning turned out fantastic and gave you some delicious breakfast for the week. If you missed that episode, you can check it out right here. Today, we're going to be using another one of Fresh Jax's amazing herb blends. It is called Garlic and Herb. It is absolutely wonderful. We're going to be using it in a beer bread recipe. Today, I'm going to be using Trader Joe's boxed beer bread, but we're going to doctor it up a little bit to add a little bit more flavor, make it a little bit more interesting, and it'll be perfect to serve for breakfast or with dinner tonight, but you'll definitely enjoy it. You're going to need the following ingredients for today's recipe. One box of Trader Joe's beer bread mix, one cup of shredded cheese, and today I'm using sharp cheddar cheese, You'll need one half stick of salted butter melted, and you'll need a quarter cup of Fresh Jax's garlic herb blend. You'll also need 12 ounces of beer or a carbonated beverage of your choice. Our first step is to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. With our oven preheating, the next step is to add our dry beer bread mix into a large mixing bowl. You'll also add in your garlic herb blend and you're gonna mix everything together until it's really well combined. Once it's been mixed, feel free to add your beer. Again, you want 12 ounces or carbonate beverage and you're gonna mix everything together until again, it's well combined, but be careful not to over mix it. At that point, you can add in your cheese, you'll fold it in using a rubber spatula, and then it'll be ready for baking. The next step is to take a greased loaf pan, mine's about nine by five or so, and you're going to add your dough mixture right into your loaf pan. You can use your rubber spatula to try to make it evenly spread so that way your bread will rise beautifully. And after that, you're going to pour all of your butter over the top. I know it'll seem like a lot of butter, but it'll bake into the bread and it'll make it delicious. Our delicious beer bread is ready to go into the oven. You're going to bake it for anywhere between 50 to 55 minutes or so, or until a cake tester or a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. After it's finished baking, leave your bread in the loaf pan for about five minutes to cool down. Afterwards, you can remove it from your loaf pan and let it cool the remaining time on a wire rack and maybe about 10 more minutes or so just to get the initial heat out of it, then you can enjoy your bread. The loaf should come out pretty easily, you should just be able to turn your pan upside down and the bread should pop right out. Our cheesy garlic herb beer bread is out of the oven and it looks amazing. The spices from the garlic herb blend just have such a nice aroma. They are going to be perfect mixed with that tangy little bit of beer taste that's baked into this bread. Plus, look at this gorgeous golden brown crust that's formed along the sides. It's perfect. Now I did let mine cool in my loaf pan for five minutes before I put it on the wire rack. I will let it cool all the way down to room temperature before I cut into it. I know that's a little bit hard. You can cut into it right at the tail end while it's still slightly warm if you can't wait. But I do recommend waiting until your bread is cool all the way, all the way, all the way down. So that way the creme on the inside stays light and fluffy and not gummy and chewy. Thank you so much for baking with me today and a very special thank you to Fresh Jacks and their garlic herb blend. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you had fun baking with me today. 
I appreciate each and every single subscriber as you join me on this journey from baker to baker. You can also follow us on social media for this and all of our other recipes. And don't forget to give Fresh Jacks a follow as well. Until next time, I hope you have a very happy bake day.